What do you want? Tommy. Hey guys, welcome back to Rock and Stem. So today I want to give you guys an informative video talking about how to get started with using PEX. If you guys are new to our channel, welcome. My name is Jasmine. I have a six-year-old son who is autistic and he is nonverbal. So the way that he communicates primarily is through gestures, sign language, and PEX. So we do have a variety of options for him. It's best to find a variety of options and we definitely wanted something to let him communicate his needs with us. So PEX stands for Picture Exchange Communication System. You can use PEX with a Velcro folder. You can use a communication device. Um, you can literally exchange pictures versus Velcroing it. There's so many ways to do it, but I wanna talk to you guys about starting with PEX phase one, how to get started, what you need. I want to give you guys some information that hopefully you guys find useful. I know that there's a lot of people that are not getting services right now um, with everything that's going on in the world. Some places, some countries don't offer ABA set therapy or it's hard to find speech therapy or just it's expensive, you know? So I really wanna put informative videos out there that might help a parent with their child to find a way to communicate because communication is very important. Oftentimes my son has behaviors because he feels like he's not heard and giving him many ways to communicate is key to, to not having meltdowns and, and giving him the best life. So to get started with PEX, you do need to find what really is reinforcing to your child. So for Christian, I can find that by presenting an item. A lot of times food is really reinforcing. If I present a broccoli, he's not gonna reach for it, but if I present a banana, um, he definitely starts reaching for it. So I know that that is motivating, that's reinforcing. Mm -hmm. um, a toy as well, if, if your child loves bubbles and is not a fan of like drawing crayons, you, you will see your child really reaching for um, bubbles. So just try to find what's really reinforcing. Try to find a couple things that are reinforcing so you can work on on the PEX quite a bit. Once you find what's really reinforcing, you will either need to buy a PEX book, which they sell on Amazon. It looks like a little binder with Velcro straps and it'll come with pictures already. The thing about that is that it'll come with pictures that are not like real life pictures. It'll come with more like cartoonish pictures. So it'll have all of the essentials that are usually needed. So you will have a variety and it'll be easy access. But for us, we felt that real life pictures were best because Christian really understands them and really connects with them. He unders he sees them for what they are and I don't know why the other ones, animated ones or cartoonish ones, he just couldn't connect to. So I do make my own pecs for him. So for that, if you guys are interested in creating your own pecs at home, I do have videos on how to do that and I will link that playlist down below with all of our communication videos. You will start with pecs phase one. Pecs phase one pretty much is fully assisting your child so that they understand what it means to exchange pictures and why they're doing it. If your child is a big fan of chocolate, you will present the chocolate and once your child starts reaching for the chocolate, you will um, assist them in grabbing the peck and giving it to you. Within that exchange, you will give your child the chocolate and say chocolate and that way you are exchanging the picture and immediately getting that reward which is the reinforcer, the chocolate. Uh, with a lot of repetition, a lot of assistance, your child will at one point understand that they will need to exchange that picture for the chocolate and do it independently. You start PEX phase one by fully assisting. It is really beneficial if you have two people, one person presenting the reinforcer and another person behind your child assisting with the grabbing of the picture and exchanging. With time, um, once your child is really practicing, repeating it, constantly doing it, your child will understand that they will independently do it. So they will reach for the picture and they will give it to you. Remember, less is more. So when you are practicing peck exchange, don't say you want chocolate, which I know a lot of times I will do it as well. It's best when you're trying to build language and get your child to talk, it's best to use less words. So if it's chocolate, exchange it and say chocolate. I will be including some examples. I had my daughter help me with um, showing you guys what it would look like to fully assist with the peck exchange. Here we are demonstrating what it would look like to just do it by with one person. You help get the picture, you put the picture in my hand, and you get a gummy. So if they are barely learning, this is what you would do. Fully assist by grabbing the picture for them with their hand, putting it in my hand, and getting the gummy. That way they are able to understand that the picture of a gummy given to me will communicate that they want the gummy. So just continue to do, to do this, constantly rep repeating and repeating, and with time they will be able to pick that up on their own like Christian is doing right here. He he picks up the picture he gets a gummy i say gummy so i hope that you guys find this information very beneficial if you guys have any other questions if you guys want any more assistance please let me know how i can help i am here to help you 
and thank you guys so much if you guys haven't already please subscribe hit the bell and um, let me know where you guys are in this peg journey thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys later bye